Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do my February update. I'm in a new spot today. I just did not feel like doing the whole setup in the kitchen, propping up all kinds of books to put the laptop on. So I'm trying it today on the floor in my living room and we'll see what happens. Um, today is, I don't know what day it is. And it doesn't matter. The sun's shining, so it doesn't matter what day it is. Um, it feels like a spring day. In southwest Ohio it's 64 degrees is what my car said on the way home from work today um, and I'll take it um, I like the seasons I know everybody's tired of winter I like the season change I actually kind of get a little like grumpy when the season first changes so like now we're getting into longer nights and warmer days and I start to get irritated because I still want it to be cozy when I get home from work at night and be all tucked in my chair stitching. But within a couple weeks, I'll be super excited about spring and summer. And when we get into the fall and the days start to get shorter and it gets darker early, I'll be all crabby because I have to put socks on my feet and wear sweaters. And so I'm just never happy. Um, but I'm, I'm not ready just yet for spring, but it is nice to see um, the sun for a change in gray Ohio. Okay. So, what have I been up to in the past month? Um, so, I went to Florida a week ago. My dad turned 70 last week, and he and my stepmom spend a few months in Florida um, because it's brutal cold uh, up where they are, and he just can't do the winters anymore. So, um, my sister and I went to see him for a few days to help celebrate his birthday. We had a good time, um, got some sun. It was high 80s, almost 90, just about every day we were there. I'm not a beach person, um, but the condo that they stay in has a pool, and so we had a good time there. So, it was fun to see my sister, because even though she's moved back to Ohio, I've only seen her twice since July. Um, so... Got a few days away from the cold and dreariness, um, so that was a fun. I didn't really do any stitching. I tried to stitch on one of the Mill Hill kits, and I just got irritated because um, I think I might try this next one on fabric and just be done with the paper. But I thought I would have an easy time doing it, like on the plane or at the condo, and I think I just would have rather read. So I just read the whole time. Um, okay, but I did do some stitching. Um, so I, my goal this month was to finish the hat of this primitive hair trick or treat pumpkin piece and I accomplished it. Um, I, somewhere in here, I didn't go in far enough. So I was supposed to, you know, go up one and over, up one and over. And instead of going up one and over, I just went up. And so I started to panic because this thing, even though it's not like supposed to be perfect, I didn't know how much that was going to throw off all this stitching here. So I posted a picture of it on Instagram and said, I don't know whether I should pick this out. I don't know whether I should keep going. And I must not have explained myself well because everybody was saying, I can't tell. Just keep going. I can't. I've looked at the picture that you posted of the pattern. And I looked at yours and I can't tell where the problem is. No, you couldn't tell where the problem was because I stopped before you could see it. So I wasn't so much looking for a fix as I was looking to lament because my brain was just saying, you have to pick it all out and do it right. But I persevered. I did not pick all of this out. This is um, carriage black. Oh, this is hard to do when you're in a new spot. So I had like six rows. Forget it. I had six rows up from the 310 that I was going to have to pick out. But I just kind of stitched. I just pretended like I was in the right spot. And I just went around and did the border kind of and did this side of the hat up and then filled in. And obviously it doesn't you can't tell the difference because here is the, oh, maybe, yeah, here's the original, right? Who cares? So that's that, and I think that I'm going to be done with this for now. This is a project that I started at Stitch Away last month. I can't believe Stitch Away has only been five and a half weeks since it happened. It seems like it's been months and months, but this is one that I started at Stitch Away, and I think I'm going to put it down for a while and go on to some other things. I started one other thing at Situa that I want to work on uh, now. Um, that's the cat in the snow, the one that was kind of a condensed full coverage, just the cat's full coverage. So I think that's enough on that primitive hair piece. Um, I also finished, started and finished this hands-on design ornament. This is from a couple years ago. This is Silent Night. I know everybody hates dark fabric, but I really like it, which... Seems like that's not something I would like, but that's that little guy. 
Um, I just found that I use lots of light and magnification. Even though this is only 32 count, I still use magnification and I don't really have much problem with the dark. So if you're thinking about trying the darker fabrics because of all the chalk um, patterns that are coming out, try it. It really isn't that bad. Put something white behind it, like white fabric on your lap or a white piece of paper or use lots of light and magnification um, and just go slow. And it, they really look nice. So I started and finished that. So that's um, an ornament done um, for this year. Um, I also finally finished this silly little Quaker pumpkin. So if you remember from my last video, I got all but 36 stitches done over here and I ran out of this floss that I wasn't a fan of, silk that I was not a fan of. Um, and so I reached out to Melanie Smith. She um, does floss tube and she's on Instagram as yarns, yarns and threads fiber mill. Um, she started a stitch along with with me um, called Pumpkins in Winter Sal. And so I reached out to her and I said, um, I'm, I need help. I ran out of 36 stitches to go. Would you have any silk that you could donate to me? Or would you be interested if I sent this to you to just finish it with what you have and send it back? And she said, I'll do whatever you want. But I was actually planning on sending you some of the fabric that I wove for my piece for you to finish with your piece. So I was super excited about that because she did um, a weaving intensive the weekend that we started this sow while I was at Stitch Away. Um, and so she wove a piece of fabric um, to coordinate with this and she finished it and she showed it on one of her videos and it's really, really cute. Um, so I got a package last week. Melanie sent this. So you see where it's kind of a darker orange? Hopefully you can see that. The light's not bad here, but I realize it's not real bright. Anyways, this darker orange is from the silk that Melanie sent. So I was able to finish that. And then she also sent this backing piece that she wove. And you can either use it that way or use this side. I think I'm gonna use the side that has more purple as the backing. Yeah, cute, cute, cute. Um, so I really appreciate that. She, if you've not watched her videos, um, especially if you're a knitter, you need to go watch her videos. Um, she weaves, she cross stitches, she knits, she spins her own yarn, and she's actually um, holding a giveaway for all of you guys that are starting to learn to knit um, with Ginger Gerald and, hold on, who's calling me? I'll just mute that. Sorry, didn't realize my phone was sitting here. It's a good thing Chelsea's not here. I would have gotten yelled at. Um, okay. So anyways, um, she is, Melanie's hosting a giveaway for all of you guys that are learning how to knit with Gerald and um, Off the Grid Needle Arts in Canada, um, that if you send her a picture of your completed dishcloth, she will send you some yarn from her stash because she's got a giant, giant wall of stash. Uh, yarn stash um, and she's trying to get rid of some of it so I'll list her below go check her out but she wove this at her weaving intensive and she finished her little pillow and she sent this for me um, so that when I have this finished um, I'll have a piece of something that she made from the stitch along that we did together so I thought that was pretty cool okay and then I started this. Um, this came from the Silver Needle, a little help from our friend Stitching Circle. Um, this is the Scarlet House Be My Friend pattern. And I just started this the other night. Um, and that's all I've done. This is stitched on 32 count Ren by Picture This Plus. The needle minder is from Shop Made Designs on Etsy. I'll list her below. She's great. She doesn't do a whole lot of needle minders. She mostly does project bags, and I've showed those before on my channel. Um, okay, so what else did Melanie send me? So she sent me the silk. She sent me the weaving. She also, um, her husband makes beeswax. I don't know what these things are called. They have a name. Anyways, she sent me beeswax. She said in her last video, look how cute that one is with the little bee. Hmm. <laughs> Um, she said in her last video that these work better for her on DMC than they do on specialty floss. So I will try them. Um, I go back and forth with using Thread Heaven. I've used it before and felt like it made a huge difference and I've used it and felt like it didn't make any difference. And then sometimes I forget and don't know that it really makes much of a difference. So she sent that. She also sent this pattern, which she had finished and I commented on, um, how cute it was. And so she sent it to me. This is Country Cottage Needleworks in the Meadow. 
Um, it's stitched on Scuppernong Linen by Weeks. It's a weird green fabric that I don't like, so I don't know. I, I have found that I like Aspen by Weeks. It's kind of a greenish brown. I think it might work really well for the winter patterns that I want to do instead of using blue all the time. So I think it'll work for this too, but no immediate plans to start this. Um, he's just cute. He's huge though. He's 111 by 131. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. I thought briefly about stitching this over one on 28 count. And then I rethought that quickly. She also sent me a small piece of fabric from Dixie Sampler. Dixie Sampler hand dyed fabrics. Yeah, so I heard her mention this on her channel the same week that somebody else mentioned her on their channel. Um, and she actually has a floss tube. I think it's called Dixie Sampler, hmm. but I'm not positive. So I'll link it below or I'll list it below just so I make sure I have it correct. But um, she dyes fabrics and I've heard her, um, Melanie and somebody else rave about how great they are. Melanie said that it's a little bit loose, kind of like Weeks fabric, um, but without all the slubs. So if you don't like the looseness of Weeks, you may not like this, but um, she's um, just a, a, her own small business. This is a small piece that she sent I don't know if you can see the modeling. It's called Scarecrow. So that's cute. Cute? No, that's pretty. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on it, but I appreciate her sending me that little sample. And then she sent me some DMC, because like she said, who doesn't need more DMC, right? She sent it in Halloween colors. And then she also sent, oh, I just remembered. I'm going to have to pause this and go get it. I'm supposed to do the Vegemite challenge. I said I would do it. Brian cannot wait. He keeps asking me if I've done it, if I've done my video, because he wants to know what I think of the Vegemite, because he hates it. Um, but Melanie sent this. This is an Idaho spud. She said it's a giant marshmallow um, covered in chocolate and then rolled in coconut. I'm not a huge coconut fan, but I'm not opposed to trying it with this, because this is a big, squishy marshmallow, and I think it will be good. So there's that. Okay. Ugh. You know what else? I forgot to bring down one of my binders because I said in my last video, since I was doing Stitch from Stash and I wasn't going to have a bunch of haul, I would show you some of my old patterns. So maybe I'll pause this and see if I can get the Vegemite and a binder. Ugh, this I should have just done it at the table and kept my routine. Um, okay, I also got from um, Michelle. She is on Instagram. Oh, Michelle, I just forgot your... Instagram name. I'll link list it below. She's in Maine, something with Maine. Anyways, she said that she had a needle minder she wanted to send me. Um, and so of course I sent her my address. How funny is that little thing? So obviously she watches my videos and she knows how much I love Cardinals, but he's hysterical. It's just his head on a stick. And then she also sent me a little um, Cardinal button. I think it's probably a Jabco, just another button company. But this is the company that she got the needle minder from. And somebody else, Pam? Somebody else just showed this, Flying Frog Stitchery. I don't really get how this works because it's just an email that's listed there. There's no website. There's no Facebook group. So I don't know how this works, but there you go. So thank you, Michelle, for sending that. I really appreciate this funny little cardinal head. <laughs> um, and she sent a nice card um, with it. I imagine that is probably um, quite of a New England scene. Not anything that I see here. Okay, I also got from my sweet friend Kathleen at Kathleen's Trodden Trail. Um, she sent me a big box for Valentine's Day. Um, she sent me a big bag of M&Ms. She sent some other candies. She sent lotion, some soap. Um, she sent this little kit because I had sent her one at Christmas and she fell madly in love with them and bought all of them. So she sent me that one. And I don't remember if I have this one. I meant to look and I forgot. I don't think I do, but even if I do, they are so sweet that I would stitch one for myself and one for a friend or one for a gift. And then she sent a very sweet peanuts card. And she knew that I had been looking for this pattern and that they were sold out when I bought it last year. And she said, if you're still on your stitch from stash, or if you fall off your stitch from stash, don't buy this pattern. And so this arrived from Reflections. This is Shannon Christine Designs Truck Snow Globe. And then she sent this little needle minder was attached. 
super, super sweet. Thank you so much, Kathleen, for doing that. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'm hoping to see you soon. Okay. I also, maybe I don't need to go get the binder because all these nice things that people sent me, I don't even have to show you anything in my binder. But I will. Don't freak out. Um, Kentucky Woman Stitcher Kathleen had showed a um, finish that she did that was a freebie from Erica Michaels. And I couldn't find it on the website, so I messaged her to make sure that I had the information correct. And she said that she would just send them to me. Um, so she sent me all four in the series and then she sent me another series that I had not heard of before. So I don't know that you're really gonna be able to see these well, but I just wanted to mention them because just because of how little they are and they're patterns, but they were freebies. So um, so spring is the one that I wanted to do because there's, a no, winter. So there's a, a Jabco button goes on these somewhere on here. So spring has a ladybug. So that one's cute. I'll for sure do that one. Winter has the cardinal. And um, it was really cute the way Kathleen finished it. And then she sent summer. What does summer have? A watermelon button. Oh, from Mill Hill. And then autumn has... Blackbirds from Just Another Button Company. That's a big cornucopia. And then the other ones she sent are from Trail Creek Farm. And I can't really decide how these look. But there's the same. Spring, summer, winter, fall. And there's a button, I think. I'm not going to show you the rest of these because you can't really see anything. Okay. And then the one thing that I did get that I purchased, I actually purchased, um, in a Black Friday sale from Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, and it said on the site that it would take eight to 12 weeks to get the order just because the volume of sales that she had. And it took every bit of 12 weeks. Um, but I did get some new fabrics to try. And, um, so let me show you those real quick. And I don't know how these are going to show up in this lighting. Um, but as I'm always on the hunt for the perfect gray, I ordered Winter Wishes. This is 32 count. Um, and I really like it. If it's showing up blue, it's not blue. It's definitely gray. So that is Winter Wishes. And the only thing that aggravates me a little bit is that big splotch. I can work around it, but it's right in the middle. I don't have any idea how you dye fabric. I just feel like that's not really part of the modeling dyeing process compared to everything else. I feel like that is a flaw. But I really like the fabric color. So that's, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna figure out a way to use it. Not gonna keep complaining about it. Okay, I also got more toasted almond, which I bought before. I think these are all 32 count. Yeah. So this is toasted almonds. I think I showed a piece of this before. I just got a bigger piece. Yeah, you can see the modeling. Okay. So Fabrics by Stephanie, toasted almond, 32 count. And then I got some greens to try since I decided that green was a good Christmas, well, winter. Um, can't do all Christmas because a lot of Christmas patterns have green on them, but winter patterns would be good on green instead of blue. This is Yuletide and it's an opalescent. Can you tell? Oh yeah, this one's really bright green. I would say that these are showing up pretty true. This one's a little bit darker than it really is. It's showing up a little bit darker than it really is. It's more of like a Kelly green to me. Um, it's pretty, it's just much brighter than I would expect for um, Christmas, maybe. I don't know, I guess for certain designers this would be good because it's bright, like Lizzie Cates um, would be good on this. Some of the more colorful patterns. Um, speaking of Lizzie Kate, so hopefully by now everybody's heard Lizzie Kate is retiring. Her, um, She's not going to design after March 1st or 31st or something in March. And I don't know if her patterns are going to be available after then either. You know, I start with my hair nice and curly. And then by the time of these videos get done, it's just, yeah, see there. That looks more full like I did my hair. Not like I just rolled around in bed from a nap and made this video. Um, anyways, so when they first made the announcement um, that Lizzie Kate was retiring, I don't know if I heard it from Barbara, from one of the keepsakes newsletters, or somewhere else. Anyways, whenever I heard it, I kind of panicked a little bit. And then I remembered, I don't stitch Lizzie Kate. I have two Lizzie Kate patterns. I've never stitched them. 
they're not my thing, why am I freaking out about them retiring? I'm not planning on going to get all their patterns. I just get sucked into the madness. Okay, two more. This one is probably my favorite one. Well, I don't know. They're both kind of similar. And I may have to hold these up. So this is Fabrics by Stephanie Celtic Christmas Opalescent. Okay, so this is op this is Celtic Christmas. This is Yule. See how much brighter this one is. This is like a more rich, what I think of as like Christmassy. And then the last one is Fern, which is also very pretty. I'm hoping that the differences are going to show up. Okay, so this is Fern. Opalescent. This is Celtic Christmas. Hmm, they look pretty similar. But they look a lot different in real life. So Celtic Christmas is a deep, rich green. This one leans a little bit more in real life, like the um, Yuletide. It's a little bit more bright green. Okay, so that's what I bought, but technically not this year. They just arrived this year. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go get the Vegemite and a big drink of water and a binder. And I'll show you some uh, uh, something from my stash because it's only been 21 minutes. I don't want this to be super long, but I feel like 21 minutes is kind of rushed. So I'm going to pause it and hope that I can figure out how to keep it going when I get back. Hold on. Okay, I am back. I have my Vegemite that Teresa Craig sent me at Christmas to do the Vegemite challenge. I have my blue binder. I just grabbed one of the random binders. I don't even know what part of the alphabet it is, and I'm going to open it up and see. Um, and I have my toast. Um, I have a very thin layer on, and I left part of that blank in case I hate it and need to wash it down. <laughs> um, but you're supposed to put just a thin layer on, which is why I imagine this comes in such a sh short jar, because it probably lasts forever. But before I forget, I want to make one quick StitchCon retreat announcement. There is a Facebook group. It's closed. Um, it's only for uh, people who are attending. So I'm only mentioning it quickly because I know that most people who watch my videos aren't attending, but I just want to put it out there. Um, as of right now, um, all the information that you can get about the actual retreat itself will be on the website. So if you're not coming, if you're thinking about putting your name on the wait list and you want more information, just go to the website. The Facebook group is closed because it's just for people who are looking to share rooms, ride shares, shuttles, that kind of thing. I shouldn't have said shuttles. There's not a shuttle. Just ride share. And there's more information about that on there. So if you're not coming to StitchCon, you don't care about any of that stuff. So you don't need to be in the group. So I'll put the link um, below. It's Stitch-Con 2018 on Facebook. Okay. Back to the regularly scheduled stuff. So back at Christmas, Teresa Craig sent me a package. It got ripped open. I lost my needle minder. The candy was all smashed. She sent the Vegemite, and I just haven't had a chance to make a video where I felt like I was ready to be adventurous. So I made a piece of toast. I got my Vegemite. We're going to see what happens. It doesn't really even have a smell. I don't know if I want to do this on video. Do people care to eat on videos? I kind of don't like it. Let's see what happens. It's not bad. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's not bad. It's a little salty. What's it supposed to taste like, Teresa? Is it supposed to be salty or kind of savory? It's not bad. I could see how it would be if you put a whole bunch on there, like cream cheese. Okay, I probably will finish that later, but for right now, I'm not going to eat on this video because I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, last thing. Blue binder. I'm just going to go through and um, just do a couple little show and tell since I don't have any haul because I'm doing stitch from stash. Okay, I have to be truthful. I did buy some floss, but that's always been part of the okay. Um, so there were some sales, like my LMS had a um, Super Bowl sale. Somebody else. Oh, um, the stitching post. Is that um, Citerista and Citerista and the Crafty Curator? That's their cross stitch store, I believe, in Maryland. They had a um, Super Bowl sale. That's why I ordered stuff from them a while ago. Oh, Silver Needle had a Super Bowl sale, and I ordered threads um, from them and got threads at my LNS for kits of stuff I plan to do this year. So the threads, I've always said that counts. That doesn't count because I don't have a lot of overdyed threads. 
but patterns, not so much. Okay, so this binder starts at H. I'm gonna go to the ones I haven't shown before. Okay, so these are my hands, heart and hand patterns. How do I minimize this little thing so I can see? Hmm. Okay, so some of these I have more than one of, like for this one example, I did this one, Christmas Bird, because it comes with a little charm. And I did this one for my mom and I wanted to do it for myself, but I think this was a gift. I think that's why I have two of these. I bought one for my mom and then I bought one for myself. Um, Autumn, these are really quick. And it comes with little fall leaves. Summer comes with a bumblebee. Cute little button. Spring comes with a dragonfly. Winter comes with snowflakes. What is the deal with my hand? Why can't I get to the center? Okay. Who's this? Christmas. Oh, this is the other. Okay, I still have my two Christmases. So I guess maybe I didn't do Christmas for my mom yet. I did. I did Halloween and I did Valentine's Day. That one. There's Thanksgiving. That one has a little pumpkin. Um, we Santa. I did him for my mom. He came with that little metal charm. Um, he's really cute. I would like to do him again, but I can't find the charm anywhere. Um, Heart and Hand is based in Ohio. She's actually like 25 minutes away from me, so I probably could get that if I really, really tried harder. And then the last one is Little Snowman in the Drifts. And he's cute on this neutral fabric, but I wonder what he would look like on that Aspen. Hmm. Okay, that's H. What else do I have in here? Oh, here we go. Let's do the little stitcher. I like her stuff. You know what? It might be easier to just take these out of the binder. Instead of taking them out of the sleeve, let's see how much glare there is. So the little... Um, Magic Christmas Eve, the Snowy Forest. So I just put them in these little sleeves that you can get at office supply stores, and I just put them back to back. This is the Little Stitcher Red Christmas, the colors of Christmas. She did a whole series of these, um, red, blue, green, white, and there's a russet or brown one. Can you see those okay? I can't tell what I'm doing. The blue one I can't show because there's not a cover page to this. Um, I just have the patterns. But the thing I like about these is though, even though she calls that Red Christmas, you could change those colors to anything you wanted. So blue is not really my thing, as I've said over and over. So these blue ones, I'm just going to change the colors to be more Christmassy colors. So um, she has an Etsy shop. Um, I'll link it below if you've not heard of her. White Christmas I can't show either because it didn't have a cover, or if it did, I didn't print it. Same with Green Christmas, it looks like. Oh, you're just going to have to go to her site and look for it. How about that? Um, and that's it. That's all of hers that I have. These are the... Oh, I lied. I have three Lizzie Kate patterns. I bought this one just recently. Quicket Sampling Thanksgiving. This one I've had for a while. This goes on those little sleds that I have. Those are really cute. That mouse is stinking cute. This is Night Before Christmas Sleds. And then I just bought this double flip. Um, it's got holly on that side, stocking on that side. I really just like holly. I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like the colors and the way it looks. That's what the whole thing looks like. I don't plan on doing any of those other ones. Okay. And then I feel like a lot of these I've shown you guys. I think this is my newer binder that I kind of just started reorganizing. So I don't want to show stuff over and over again. I also don't want to get this completely out of alphabetical order since it took me so long to put it into alphabetical order. But let me see if I can get to one other letter and then we'll call it a day because I think that's plenty for this video because I feel like I'm just rambling now. Um... Go back to the beginning of this. So remember this started at H. We'll go to JBW Designs and then we'll call it a day. 
have quite a bit of those. So JBW Designs Alphabet Dogs. Cute. Uh, this is a 2016 limited edition ornament that I got from Silver Needle. It comes with the fabric and all the stuff to finish it. Deck the halls. That's really cute. I will not be finishing it, but I will be paying Vana to finish it that way. Vana has a bunch of my stuff that I send off to her. I think I sent her seven things, so I can't wait to see what they look like when she finishes them up. Um, this is Christmas Tree Collection 2. Oh, sorry, the sun's starting to shift and come in. Those are cute. Sing a Song of Christmas 6, Oh Christmas Tree. That finishes into a really cute little stocking. There's three of these, I think. There's um, one with a the Santa. There's this one, and I don't know what the third one is, but the Santa's really cute, too. Oh, here he is. Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> so sing a song of Christmas, too. Here comes Santa Claus. Cute. I don't know what the third one is. I did order, and I really was serious about ordering it, and I forgot. So I did order the Lady Dot Create Sizzle embellishments to go around the um, stocking. Does it go around? Yeah, that stocking too. Okay, that, that. This is just, I, a friend of mine bought me this pattern. It's for these little mittens. See those two little, oh no. And I think I must have given one of the, so there were one on each side, okay? It was a little booklet like this. It opened, for some reason I tore off one and kept the other. I don't know. Okay, that's it. That's a little bit of my stash. Okay, let me, uh-oh, where is my book? I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to say anything on my list. I did my Vegemite challenge. Talked about all my really sweet racks. Progress, did my binder flip through, did my stitch con retreat announcement. I guess that's it. All right, peeps. Um, peeps. See what the sun is doing to me? It's frying my brain. I'm gonna see if I can get this posted tonight. Thanks so much for watching. I've had quite a few people recently um, leave messages saying that they just found my videos and they're going through and watching all of them. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, you don't have to put me on 1.25 speed, do ya? Um, I really appreciate the comments. It's so much fun. In fact, if it seems like I don't get a comment shortly after I post my video, I'm like, did I not post it right? Did it not really go up there? Um, so thanks so much for the comments. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everybody watching all my old videos and keeping up with my new ones. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, um, and your likes. And, uh, I guess that's it. I'm just rambling. That's all I got. Have a great day. See ya.